Right. Were to get down to 150, that that's a, a 1500 calorie diet. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, essentially, like w w when you look at weight loss or even weight management for that matter, you're trying to maintain a certain amount of weight. But, but let's assume that we had a 200 pound person who was trying to get down to 150 pounds. Um, essentially, what we would have to do, because each person is different, and whenever you look at the formulas, they can sometimes be helpful and sometimes they cannot be helpful. Uh, sometimes they can recommend more calories than you actually are taking in and you're actually trying to lose weight. So right. it, it really does depend on each individual. So oftentimes what we will do is, is take the individual and approach it that way. So we would basically try and figure out how many calories you are taking in at that present time. And then we would want to know, well, you know, are you in the process, are you still like gaining weight? Are you maintaining right now? Because that helps, that helps me if, to know that somebody is maintaining at a certain number of calories. Because at least that tells me that we're not looking at a significant calorie reduction right away. We're probably just looking at something real small. So, for instance, someone who's, say, at 200 pounds, trying to get down to 150, I would want to get a log of their eating, and I would want to know exactly where they are, exactly what are you taking in right now. So I might do three days or five days. And then, you know, let's say I, I determine that they're taking in 2,000 calories a day. Then what I can do is I can make reductions off of that number because that's a true number. And now as I'm looking for them to lose weight, I'm not recommending to go from 2,000 calories to 1,500 because that may represent a significant calorie drop for some people. Wow. And it may decrease their chances of actually being able to carry it through. So, so I want to go off of the true number because that helps me to make a realistic change plan to a, a lower number for them. Does that answer your question, Ann? Uh, yes, it does. Uh, okay. It does, and uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks thank for calling. Thank you so much okay. for calling. Bye -bye. I Have a great day. It. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good question because mm -hmm. people often want to know um, how many calories should I be taking right. in. Right. And it always has to start with, well, how many calories are you taking right. in right Currently, now? Right. Yeah, because cause if they're taking in 2,000 calories and they're in the process of still gaining mm -hmm, weight, mm -hmm. now we, we need to go ahead and reverse that. And, and, I, I, and, and we want to reverse it in, a, in a, a gradual way right. as opposed to just saying, well, the equation says you should be taking mm -hmm. in 1,500 calories. Right, right. Well, to go from 2,000 calories to 1,500 doesn't seem like right. a lot. Oh, God. But if you're talking lot. about, you know, if, if you're that talking about lot. food, yeah. it means something. Yeah. And your stomach is growling at 9 o'clock right. at night. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and it's not to say that what Ann heard, you know, that she didn't hear that. You know, a lot of times in this industry, yeah. folks are trying to make it easy and pare it down and make it very generalized. Yeah. So you might have heard something like yes. that, Ann, mm -hmm. but, yeah. but, you know, like, like uh, Charles was saying, um, it is more individual uh, than what a lot of folks in the industry try to make it. Um, and so, yeah, one of, the, and one of the questions that probably comes up when you say, you know, okay, people need to know how many calories they're taking in, very simply, get a paper and a pen and a calculator. And different bookstores, you can always find books that um, have, like, calories of different foods, even takeout foods, all the different restaurants, and you can get one of those books inexpensively or even go online at different calorie counters yeah. online mm -hmm. and just... You know, take for three, five days tops, just start logging everything you're eating and have a food diary. And that's the easiest way to, st to know how many calories mm -hmm. you're taking in and where to start decreasing your calories. Yeah, it, it, it is a, um, and, and, and oftentimes it's a lot of work up front, but, mm -hmm. but in the end it ends up serving you better. It's worth it. Yeah, it's it worth does. it. Uh, th let me just run through some exercises that parents can do with their kids. Things that they can, even if you're not into them right now, mm -hmm. perhaps you can get into them. Uh, oftentimes, you know, sometimes our kids are doing all the fun stuff and, and maybe <laughs> we feel like we can't do it or we feel right. like we're a little too old to do some of these things. But, but you know, you do it and all of a sudden you think, you know what, I can do this. And what makes it even better is to be able to do it with your kids. So, so maybe you have some of these things that you're doing with your kids and if not, maybe this will give you some some examples and, or some, um, some different options for things you can do, all right? So let's say you want your kids to get out and you want them to start doing some things. Here are some things that you can do which might simulate regular exercise but actually are funner. So your kids don't necessarily see it as exercise. 
You got hiking, skateboarding. Now, skateboarding, I'm not so sure about. Uh, next. I was just in line, just <laughs> give that one up. And also the inline skating. A lot okay, of kids I can, I can like that. that. Yeah. <laughs> then you have biking, which everybody can do, um, brisk walking. Okay, so those are some basic mm -hmm. things that you can do. And then you have some other things which may be a little bit more intense in nature, such as running, uh, chasing games, uh, playing tag. Uh, b biking, jumping mm -hmm. rope, karate, and martial arts. Those are great activities, too. Right. We need to say a thank you to you for listening and to our two good health sponsors, and they are Brad Aikens, YMCA in Winder, and SNBF.com, Supernatural Bodybuilding and Fitness. Join us again next Saturday morning at 1030 when we will be discussing top 10 strategies for a long and healthy life. And we will be welcoming and talking with our special guests from the YMCA. Until next time, this is Charles and Cheryl Barrage reminding you to honor your body every day, and it will give you a lifetime. Thanks, and goodbye. Have Thanks, a great folks. Weekend. Take care.